And welcome back, everyone, to Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show. show. And you can see our faces. Whoa. And so this threw me off completely. Just full disclosure, <laughs> I was not ready for this. Billy fucking, I showed up for an episode, and Billy's like, oh, I want to surprise you. I watched the movie. Let's do video, which we were planning on doing video and launching video. Yeah. I just wasn't ready for that to be today. I apologize for my appearance. I was not ready. What's wrong with your appearance? There's nothing wrong with you. Think not. Um, but here we are. Welcome. This is... This is our first this is video cool. episode. This is yeah, this is different. I like it. I like it too. I, I thought I would never be into this, um, but with the, with the prep work that goes into it. But uh, ever since I, I joined up with Morans Makes Sense, hey, a podcast. Uh, no, it's, they it, do, it, it, it's they a do, rivalry. But, it's, they, it's, but they, it's not. Even, it's not a rivalry. Well, well, not a rivalry, but like yeah. you know, the back and forth. Friendly um, fire. There we go. Like, I guess uh, that made me be like, you know what, Bill? Why don't we do video? Because you're the yeah, one who suggested it a while yeah, back. Yeah, so did, did, you know, we're here now. Mm-hmm. Um, and here we are. So thank you for welcoming us into your home. And dude, what the fuck are we going to talk about, dude? So. Before we did this, I told Arturo that I watched a movie for the first time that I feel like he would be like, oh, really? You did? Hmm. Well, let's talk about it. So, and I probably am overhyping it. No idea what's going on. And I am probably overhyping it because that's what I fucking do. (laughs) That's what I do sometimes. I watch for the first time ever Hocus Pocus. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah, so no, what, that, that did catch me off guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now we are going to talk about Hocus Pocus. Wow. So out of curiosity, yeah. like, was there anything that felt, okay, this is the time I need to watch it? Was it because of the second film or did you just, just mm, kind of get it over time? Yes or like, and no. Get with yes it? and no. Yes yeah. and no. So I, everybody that I pretty much know in my film friends, uh, horror, uh, you know, horror community, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. They all love this movie. Yeah. Everybody talks so highly about this movie. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh my God, you've never seen Hocus Pocus. You gotta watch it. Mm-hmm. It's so mm-hmm. good. And you and I have talked about this before where sometimes there are certain things where people overhype it too much mm-hmm. and it kind of is a little off putting yeah. and it kind of makes you not want to watch. That's why I don't want to watch uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, dude, I watched that. <laughs> That's no, a great saying, movie. I, you know, because of the same thing where I have a lot of people like, you need to watch it. You need oh, to watch yeah, it. So yeah, I'm yeah, like, sure. I don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> That's kind of how I was like with that too. Uh, but uh-huh. then I finally did watch it and I was like, I'm glad I got around to this. I'll probably get around to it. It's good. It's yeah. good. Uh, so with Hocus Pocus, it's it's been like that for the past oh, Jesus, twenty nine years. Yeah, but but <laughs> I I have recently within the last few years, as True, Arturo yeah. knows, I have been diving into the more horror, spookier type of filmography mm-hmm. of sorts. And not to say that Hocus Pocus is not a horror movie. I know that, but it falls under the, under the whole scary film, right? Like, yeah, I mean, Halloween vibe type shit. Interestingly enough, like I was, um, so I mean, clearly I'm a fan of horror and Halloween and stuff. Yeah. And I just got Dracula tattooed on my arm. Looks which, good. It's, it's healing. So it's fresh. oozing. Sorry. Um, shout out to you, Chewy. You're an amazing tattoo artist. I fucking love you. He did the rest of my arm. Yeah. Um. So. I feel like that for me was one of the first family friendly Halloween films or like a family Halloween movie. Mm-hmm. Like prior, I mean, you had certain films, of course, that, you know, fit the the, yeah. the aesthetic, the era, like Edward Scissorhands, you know, uh, Anna's family. But this was <coughs> actually on Halloween. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that was the, the big difference. <coughs> uh, and it became um, a regular thing in my home growing up. Yeah. And it's something I watch twice a season uh because it's it's the movie we always put on when we were decorating for halloween okay and then we always sit around at some point and watch it because it's such a fun film it's such an easy yeah. film uh it's a comfort movie yeah it definitely is and i can see that now having seen it i can see why it is for a lot of people now so here's my thing ever since 2018 when i started getting into more of the spooky films mm-hmm. horror films what have you there's just a lot of other movies that i haven't seen either I have not seen The Addams Family. I have not seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. I'm getting around to those movies. Though. Yeah, a big list. You, you got time. I have a big list. And <laughs> Hocus Pocus was one of those. Yeah. But for some odd reason, I had almost no interest in watching it. Because I was just like, everybody fucking talks about it. Mm-hmm. Why do I need to watch it? It's probably, I'm probably not going to think it's that great. Yeah. 
But how wrong do you feel? Oh, I was the (laughs) most wrong. I was the most wrong I've ever been in my entire life. This is this movie is excellent. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best Halloween movies, like literally ever. Mm -hmm. Like every every Halloween, I watch Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, the Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow. Right? Yes. That has been an annual. It's a a list. It's a thing on mine too. It's a must. It's it's an annual Halloween night. Like at the end of the end of the night. Oh, you watch it every Halloween night? Yes. Every Halloween night. Every Halloween night. You know, whenever it is the time I come home, as soon as I plop into my fucking bed, Sleepy Hollow's on. Nice. And that's that's my that's my my oh, annual man. watch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been doing that since 2012, so 10 years now. Ooh. So, <clears throat> um, this was just one of those years where every Halloween I have watched a movie that is very well regarded in the horror community, just because I feel like that's the time to watch it. Last year, or I think it, it was, was last was year. The Guest, right? No, I watched The Guest like last summer. Oh, uh, okay. I, did, Which is I remember when you talked about that, yeah. Fantastic If you movie. haven't seen The, I mean, the Guest, dude, that's please a fucking Dude, fucking do. great movie, dude. Uh, directed by Adam Wingard, starring Dan Stevens. Oh, yes. That's all you need. Uh, it, yeah, it's, they're making a sequel. They are. Oh, yeah, it's in development. Go, uh, God's Liver vs. Kong 2, Fappens first, and then... The guest, too. okay. Uh, but well, please watch it if you have it. It's a movie set entirely during Halloween. It's a modern thriller built like an '80s horror movie. Yeah, that is all I will say. It is so uh, the good. Soundtrack, everything, fuck, so good. It is so good. I listen to that soundtrack on the way home now. <laughs> but um, I think so. I believe it was last year mm-hmm. Halloween time. I watched The Exorcist for the first time. Oh, Silence of the Lambs. And the Lost Boys. Now I know the Lost Boys not necessarily a horror movie, but it does have to do with vampires. Oh no, it, it falls under the the, the yeah. realm of horror for yeah. sure. I was going to argue that it's not necessarily a Halloween movie; it's more of a summer movie. Yeah, like I, I I feel like I tend to watch it during Halloween time. Anyways, I watch the movie several times a year. It's one of my yeah. all time favorites. But it just screams summer. I mean, you're on the beach. It's yeah, there, you know, there's, there's yeah. a lot of that. Yeah. Um, for I was going with this. You watch it multiple times a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one I of those. Watched movies. It, I watched it this season. While yeah. Had, yeah, yeah. So I, but so I watched, I watched those movies last year, and then the year before that, I can't remember exactly what. But for the, but, but this year it was Hocus Pocus. But this year, uh, my my main focus is Hocus Pocus, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Adams Family, and I think I, I, I there's one other that I can't mm-hmm. pop into my mind right now, but. Well, you have about you know four more weeks. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that you can so excited. schedule them in. I just scheduled my movies yeah. for like that I want to for sure get to because before you know it, it's over and you're like yeah. fuck. There's yeah. so many things I wanted to watch. Yeah, um, and you really gotta get yeah. around for it. Yeah. Um. So, <clears throat> you know, when it came to watching Hocus Pocus, I knew the only thing I really knew about the movie was Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy and Jimmy being witches. That's it. That's all I knew. And I knew it was very popular, but I knew nothing of the story. I knew nothing about anything. I literally did I went into this movie completely That's blind. That's awesome, man, that you went into that blind, especially after so much time. Yeah. Uh, it came out in 1993, so it's a 29-year-old mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's very rare that you don't know anything about a movie story with that much time passing. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, I just did not care enough. To look anything up, I did not care. I, I, I literally turned it on. And I go, I have no idea what I'm about to watch. That's awesome, man. That's the best case scenario. Yeah. And let me tell you something. It, it, it was easily within the first 10 seconds of the movie. I'm like, I already love it. 10 seconds? Yeah. You didn't even get past the opening credits. I know. <laughs> because the movie is from 1993 and it had the classic Disney crawl or the, yeah. d- the Disney uh, like logo. And I, I, I mean that in hyperbole, obviously. But like as soon as as soon as the actual movie started, <laughs> we well, said literally. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just fuck with and then uh, as soon as that like that overhead shot, like flying over Salem, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. this is a great. I already love this. this is a, I mean, that that opening is iconic. Yeah. Like it, yeah. You can you, the fact that you can see it from the get go. Like that's, that's mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. And I just already knew I was gonna, like and the first line of dialogue from Bette Midler. Ah, what a glorious morning. Makes me sick. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm already cracking up. I'm like, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> like, how, like, th- th- that already set the tone mm. for me. And then, you know, as the movie progresses, just, it just kept getting better and better and better and better. And, uh, you know, the Max Max's character, Allison, 
uh, little sister, the dad, the mom, the dad. It's just the, the classic 90s Halloween Disney film. You know, much like Halloween Town, it's one of those movies where, like, immediately just is. <sighs> don't don't bring up Halloween Town. Don't put, don't don't lower it to that man. Lower it. Yes. Why? Because what do you this mean? is very controversial. I don't care for Halloween Town at all. Okay, I mean, hey, that's your opinion, I, I and I'm not. Despise the movie. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna. That's why I was like, I took it offensively, but I'm I'm just fucking with you too. No, nah, uh, <laughs> nah, no, you're not. No, but see, the thing is, uh, but Halloween you, you Town. You get a lot of the classic film. I'm right. sorry, the family dynamic of yeah. like you know the siblings. The, you yeah. know, they're they're not getting along. Yeah. They are the parents yeah. who are not fully aware, not not really there. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about the whole fact that while the kids are all trick or treating? All the fucking parents, it looked like, were either at this masquerade fancy party or fucking partying the shit, like, uh, like oh, yeah. in the town hall or whatever that yeah. was. Like, all the parents. Yeah, all of them. Like, that was fucking awesome. Yeah, it was fucking great. Like, and what, I, what, I, what I will say about this movie, because it is from 1993, there is obviously the cheese factor. And, mm-hmm. like, it, 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 there's so many tropes in this movie that are played out. That are so effective, mm. you know. It just gave me this wave of nostalgia. What, even though I've never seen the movie, it just made me feel like I was a kid in the '90s on Halloween again. Mm. That's because that's the best yeah. time to celebrate Halloween is when you are a child. Mm. Uh, I mean, when you're an adult, it is a lot of fun too because you can do adult things. But when you're a kid, <laughs> you get to dress up in a costume on, uh, you know, walking around your neighborhood, trick or treating. You still do that as an adult, but you I might get you're like, describing so things. No, 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 no. But what I, I mean I, I is get, like yeah, when the, you're the an one, actual the child, like, wonder. Of yes, Halloween exactly. Because the night. Yes, and all, yeah, uh-huh. I guess. Yes, so, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Doing it, you know, trick or treating with like all the neighborhood kids and and all that type of stuff. It's a lot of fun. But you know. When it came to the movie, it just made me feel like a kid in the 90s again. Mm-hmm. And I love when movies just transport me back to a time where I feel youthful again. And, you yeah. know, I'm only 35. I still feel youthful. But it's just one of those things where I felt like I was like eight years old again, yeah. dressing up as a skateboarder. I dressed up, uh, you know, as Tony Hawk when I was like eight years old. I <laughs> skateboarded around I my that. neighborhood and shit like that. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, watching this movie, it just made me remember why I love Halloween so much. Mm. Um, you know, because at one point in time, I was a pretty jaded guy around Halloween time. Because I, I wasn't necessarily a Scrooge. I always enjoyed Halloween. But I would just see how people kind of like, uh, I don't want to say fetishize the holiday. But like, uh, like I don't know. They like, oh, they just like overdo it too much. And I just kind of, I was a little bit of a Scrooge. I'm not going to lie. I was just like, whatever, dude. Halloween's not that great. Truth be told, I've always loved Halloween. And I just wanted to celebrate in the coolest way possible. But I just, I don't know. I was weird. Uh, <laughs> now like, you're talking to the guy who's actually decorating like after 4th of July. <laughs> right, exactly. So, you know, watching this movie just reminded me of like, dude, I fucking love Halloween. And like mm. I, it just uh, just reminded me of what uh, what it is about the holiday that I love. I love the colors, the mm. the vibes. This, I get this feeling in my stomach of like, oh, I can't wait for it to be cold, and I hate cold weather. But I'm like, I can't wait to go to Starbucks and get my holiday drink, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Just like the the you know being around family and friends celebrating these holidays are just it's 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 the best feeling of all time, man. Yeah. And you know. To, to actually like dive into what I love about the the actual movie itself, I love the three witches. Mm-hmm. They are the funniest group of witches ever. Bed Midler especially. She is so charismatic. She is hilarious. And you know, Sarah Jessica Parker, I'm I'm saying this. She's absolutely gorgeous in that movie. Yeah. And she killed it. Kathy Najimy, while she didn't really have a lot to do in that movie, she was still a great part of the trio. She was quirky, and that was her thing. And I love that about her. You know, everybody within the the trio of the Sanderson Sanderson sisters, say that five times fast, they were just so fun to watch Mm -hmm. and just an absolute treat, man. Like, and Max was great. You know, he had a little bit of a troubled uh, story. You know, he's coming from LA, moving to Salem. And he has no friends. He, him and his sister are fighting. He, you know, is crushing on Allison. And she's kind of just like trick or treat, giving him his phone number back. And I'm like, damn, that was cold. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it just, it, it just, it's a, gr- it's just a great 
uh, I don't know if you want to call it a coming of age movie because I know you don't really like those. Um, but it's just a great. Oh, well, regardless of whether or not like I like coming of age stories, isn't doesn't mean that the movie isn't. And I feel like it is. Yeah, it is a coming of age yeah. story. Yeah, I, it's, I, yeah, it's adolescence, it's childhood. Yeah, yeah I yeah. just, I just can't do current coming of age. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's fair, just, it, fair, I, fair. I, I, I did high school a long time ago. I don't need to go back. Like, fair, fair. Um, but you know, and just uh, you know, and I even I, I love the idea of you know. Their three hundred year, the three hundred year gap of this curse of mm -hmm. you know and, and all that type of shit. It's just it's just had a water element, yeah, yeah. And I just love that the entire town is like, yeah, man, witches exist. And this kid's just like, yeah, whatever, dude. No, they're not. And they're like, um, dude, yeah, they the Sanderson sisters. That shit is real. It's not some myth. Mm -hmm. It's not some bullshit story that we tell around the campfire. No, this is real. Mm -hmm. And I just love that everybody in the town in Salem just embraces that as a part of who they are. And, like, they embrace that. Like, you Wait, know. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Like, everyone's just, like, kind of, like, almost, like, proud to tell the story of, like, oh, the Sanderson sisters. Oh, I mean, with the, with the myth. Not that they're real witches. Well in, in, well, in the sense of, like, that's what happened. Yeah. 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 Okay. My bad. I, I thought. So no, 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 no. You are. You're right in the legend thing. I thought you were talking about like when they came back. Oh yeah. Of course. I thought you were saying like, of course they're real. Yeah. But it was. You're talking about the legends. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Sorry. No. No. no yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm. I, as you no, can no, tell, just, I'm pretty excited. So sometimes. Page. So sometimes my words get mixed up. I yeah, apologize. Yeah. But it's just like that type of shit. I. I just. I love that. And then when they actually came back, and they just started fucking shit up. Starting to run amok, amok, amok. Sarah says it. Oh, sorry. I, I again, first time watching it. Not gonna remember. No, because that's that's become here. a thing on like T-shirts, on uh -huh. mugs. On, like, uh -huh. It's one of their their uh -huh. things. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like I said, I'm not gonna remember well, every single solitary. For thing, those who but, watched it, you guys got yeah. it. Yeah. Or who have seen it over the past couple of years. Yeah. 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 Or many years. Yeah. yeah. So well, it, on that uh -huh. on that note, if I may, real quick. Yeah, um, I don't. I'm really curious. Like I, part of me wants you to not watch Hocus Pocus two until years from now. Years from because now. I think that's what hit so hard in a great way about it because it's been so long since we've had the first film. Okay, I feel like be, um, it wouldn't have the same effect. I don't know it's weird. Like, well, I, I, yeah, I mean, like, yeah. And here's the th here's the thing, and this is not the this, film this is, talks about it a lot, though. Is is what I'm saying is of of that right? It's, it has it's been since 1993. Yeah, like so the fact like, seeing them back to back, I don't know if it, it hit the same. Yeah, no, and that and that's one thing that. After watching the mm. original Hocus Pocus, I, I even said to myself, I'm probably just not going to watch the sequel at all. And here's why. Mm. Because there is a level of charm yeah. that this film has mm. that I don't think can be captured again the way it was the first time. Mm. Because what, what do we usually see with a movie that comes out and then 30 years later a sequel comes out? Well, you've been talking about this all fucking year, Top Gun. Yeah, no, and and that's that is one of the biggest exceptions. Mm -hmm. But then again, I saw Top Gun for the first time this year. I saw the first Top Gun four days before I saw. Hey, the well, we're talking about the magic being captured right now. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. So the way this, it can be done, but I feel like with certain things, once it's captured the first time, it's not the same the second time. Now, this is just, of course. My own opinion. I haven't seen the sequel yet. You have. Yeah. We threw a party for it on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask what you thought of it, mm -hmm. but I also don't want to know because I want to watch it for myself and then talk to you about it. Yeah. But you're, yeah, saying, but you're saying not to watch it for a few years. Well, because that, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's why it hits the way it did, I feel. Yeah. Because it's it just... Because it, it's been that long, and it's something right. you grew up with, and now it's back, and it's and it's not just you going through that; it's like the town going through that. <clears throat> yeah. And I think that's what really makes it uh, unique in that aspect. And I don't want to get into it because I want you to wait. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know if you're willing to wait 29 years to watch. This oh <laughs> no, I'm not waiting until I'm 65 to watch this. Oh sequel. man. Um, um, but here's what I will yeah. say: Why is it that every m m horror movie that has the name Billy in it? Why is it got to be a zombie? Is it always like that? No, but oh. I'm just, everybody, you know, the fucking zombie who gets his head 
but it booted off a billion times Dude, this movie's name. Take Billy. it as pride, man. That's I know, Billy I know. Butcherson, man. That's true. Like, you share a name with Billy fucking Butcherson, which, by the way, is one of the coolest fucking names in all that fiction. Is a, that is a cool name. Like, that's a fucking cool name. And Doug Jones, I mean, you can't speak. He's he's amazing. Everything he is, every creature he's done. I mean, that guy's just such yeah. a great actor. Um, um, I want to say also for 1993, yeah. the special effects were. Pretty top notch. I mean, it holds up. And the idea that you know, a lot of it just was like, you know, electrical blasts and, you know, and the fog and things like that. I'm like, more or less talking about the two that really stood oh, out to and me. Was I guess the cat. I mean, Binks. Yeah, Binks. The, 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 Zach, the, Zach, the, the, Zachary like, Binks. When, when he would talk, yeah. it was like, yo, that looks great. Uh, in, in my opinion. In yeah, my opinion. yeah. I mean, it. it it's there decent. was some there yeah, were some yeah. scenes where I was I mean, like, I'm uh, sh- when it came out, it was fucking like, I remember thinking, like, holy shit, that's a real fucking cat. Yeah. Like, I saw this as a kid, I, I think around the time it came out, because I would have been uh, probably a couple years later. I was probably like, this movie came out when I was four. Yeah. I probably saw it like around kindergarten time, like kindergarten, first grade, because that's yeah. when I was like learning English. Yeah. Um, so that makes sense. Um, but I remember being like, oh, my God, that's a talking cat. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And then. And then Sabrina, the teenage witch, came out and was like, mm, copycat. No, no, no pun intended. But. Um, you know, but I, I thought that that, as far as the special effects goes, that mm-hmm. was incredible. And even when they would just fly around, like when when they had <laughs> not their when their broomsticks got stolen, yep. and they had to steal the broom, the mop, and the vacuum cleaner. Mm-hmm. Even when those scenes came up, when you when they would all three of the witches would walk out and then fly into the air, those those specific parts looked great because. It wasn't obvious that... It was practical effects. Yeah, yeah. and the, the, the practicality of it was mm. what impressed me. Yeah. I was like, you know, for again, for it being 1993, that looked really good. Now you all know why we, we all love it. So man. shout out to the fucking special effects team on that yeah. film. And Kenny Ortega as a director, like, I mean, we... Of course, he's done a lot of other great Disney films, like the High School Musical and all that type of stuff. But, you know, that was... um. That was just a, a very... This film was just a pleasant surprise. Dude, I'm glad you finally fucking watched it, man. I know, me too. I'm really glad I did. And, and, and every time I watch a movie like this and something like this happens, I just beat myself up. I'm like, why did I... I'm such an idiot. Like, why did I wait so long to fucking watch this? Like, Why, Billy? Why? I already said why in the beginning. <laughs> and it's a stupid reason. I know it's stupid. I know it's stupid. Yeah. But I don't know why it, it happens. But I, but I am very, very glad I did. You know, there's, you know, this this movie has a lot of charm. It has a lot mm. of just, it, it, it's just a fantastic Halloween movie. Like after seeing it, you get why this is my go-to. oh one thousand yeah, percent, or a lot of people's go-tos. Like when the season comes around, when decorating, like things. Yeah, like, yeah. like um, Freeform or ABC Family, whatever you want to call it, would play that movie for twenty four hours straight mm-hmm. on Halloween. Yeah. From midnight to midnight, November 1st, that movie was on all fucking day. And I'm like, I fucking get it. I absolutely get it now. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that I do. And I know that people who are going to watch this or listen to this are going to be like, dude, took you long enough. And I'm, hey, I know. I know it did. But at least I got around to it. And now the Nightmare Before Christmas is next. You know, the Addams Family is next. Um, Again. Films you should have watched a long time ago. I know. But I'm glad you're. But here's the thing. It. Here's the thing, though. With the Nightmare Before Christmas, that that it's it's not one of those movies where it was overhyped and I had no interest in watching it. It was just one of those things where I just I just have gone around to it. <laughs> I, I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Um, and you know, uh, with the Adams Family, that's honestly one I kind of f- just forgot its existence. Terrible. I know. And uh, what's uh, the, you know, uh, 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 um, yeah, I quit. Bye. Um, and I know that the the next um, installment with Jenna Ortega with Wednesday is going to be coming out. So I probably should watch uh, The Adams Family before mm. watching that to get some, you know, I, I, I don't think like, you know, probably they'll reference some things and stuff like that to be kind of in on it. You know, so I'm definitely going to watch that. And then, um, you know, it's funny you mentioned uh, Edward Scissorhands. I was literally just talking about this with some friends today. Is that you haven't seen Edward Scissorhands? No, I have. Oh, thank God, I have. I've seen Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I've seen Beetlejuice. Um, mm-hmm. I've seen all those movies. Um, but it was like five years ago. 
the first time I watched him, but oh, I did. Jeez. <laughs> okay. But I, I, hey, at least yeah, I've seen you it. Did, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. seen Edward Scissorhands multiple times, not just one time. But I will say that before I watched Edward Scissorhands, it was not what I expected it to be at all. I thought Edward Scissorhands was going to be a slasher movie. I know. How the f- where, like, I don't know. Do you think it was Freddy Krueger? Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of town, dude. Come on. But, you know, I I was very... I love that movie so fucking much. So no, it's, fucking a, it's, much. A, it's a great movie. A great I watch movie. it more during Christmas time. Really? Because it takes place during Christmas time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That, it's that, a that's Christmas a Christmas movie to me. Yeah, and, and the thing about The Nightmare Before Christmas, too, is like, do I watch it during Halloween? Um, do I watch it during Christmas? Does it matter? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? I could. I could. They were going to make a sequel that had to do with Thanksgiving. I heard about that. But they, they went against it because it just felt... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I think that was one of the ideas that was tossed around. Like, what happens next? He goes after Thanksgiving, and they just chose not to. I mean... And, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a standalone. I mean, it stands very well on its own, I should say. Yeah, I'm sure but, it does. Billy, I'm really glad you got around to seeing Hocus Pocus. Yeah, um, you too, man. I was completely caught off guard that you hadn't seen it. That's what I was hoping for. Because we were, you, you, you were you fucking like, feel? you were fucking like, what if I don't like react like the way no, you I want? No, no, because that's what you were saying. Like, oh, I, I hope you react. I'm like, well, I mean, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it could be something where it's like, oh, shit, all right. Imagine if you were just like, all right. And I so because, stopped like, I feel like that's, that tends to be me when I'm told, oh, you have to like react to something. Like whenever I see videos that are like, Oh, like uh, uh, what are them? What do they call like? Uh, bet you can't laugh or bet you oh can't yeah, laugh, like uh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like try all, not to laugh, try not to laugh. Yeah. And when those come on, I'm just, like, I'm like, don't like you never do. Me, like yes, like no, don't, don't fucking do that. Yeah. So you, so when you were like talking about like, I was <coughs> like, fuck. Well, hopefully it's a good one because like I would I would hate to let you down. I know. But, no, I mean it was, it was something that <laughs> caught me off guard. Uh, I'm glad you finally watched it. Again, it's a it's a go to film of mine. It's uh it's a it's a classic. And did he take too long to watch it, everyone? Or should I did. he Look, should he wait I another twenty nine years I to did. watch Focus Pocus Two? What I do you guys I think? Did. Let us know. Let us know in the comments down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If I waited too long, I know I did. Or hit us up uh, on Instagram if you're listening to it through audio or what have you. Uh, enjoy the show podcast. You can find me at the real Billy Sweet on Instagram, and you are uh, Arturo under oh wait no Arkham underscore Arturo. Uh-huh. On and this has been a Dark Side Studios production. I took your line. You did. I usually uh, say that. I know, I know. This episode has been brought to you by Dark Side Studios <laughs> in Orange County, California. <laughs> but uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is probably going to be on. Please like and subscribe. Yes. Click on the things. Yes, if we you haven't you already. Guys. Uh, this is going to be on probably my personal YouTube channel. I'll this probably, is I'll probably follow the playlist. Yeah, so I'll make a Love playlist for that. And uh, yeah, follow us on uh, Instagram and on uh, Spotify and Apple Music. Leave five star reviews. And, and are there movies jazz. you guys want to see us talk about that? Yes. kind of like this. That you know, a classic that has been mentioned or that Billy hasn't seen. I'm sure, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there, there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. I mean, I'm sure there's some I haven't seen either. So I, yeah, and we should dive into that. We should yeah, dive into that some yeah, someday. Yeah. We don't have to do it right now, but someday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching slash thank listening. You for listening. We'll uh, we'll see you next time. Happy Halloween.